with me one sec here guys we're getting all organized do, 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 do. there we go got that and that should be up and running for us all right now before we get to froggy as they say or in this case anti can anybody verify when you get here that you can actually hear the audio and that all is working well? I'm going to move that camera, get it out of my screen. There we go. All right. That's a little high. We may have to move that down, but we'll find out what it looks like here in just a second. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You can you hear the game, but it's low, right? I can fix that. Okay, I'm gonna bring the game audio up and see what this does. Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, is there any echo? We got good audio, because last time I was fighting this horrible audio echo. Are you guys getting desktop audio right now? I want to make sure that you do, you are getting it. All right, so, for those of you who don't know, this game is called Empires of the Undergrowth. It's a real-time strategy and one of my favorites. Um, for those old enough to remember a game called Simant, this is sort of like a super juiced-up version of Simant. And I do. I love it. Good deal, Data. All right, so we need a colony name. Somebody give me a good colony name. We're going to do this together here. And then what color do we want the colony to be? Let's see. I like red ants myself, but uh, look at that. You can pick any color you want there. So, I need a colony name, and I need a color. Let's see what we get. And I am looking over. Looks like I got about a 30-second delay, guys, so I want to make sure that I hear what you're saying. And whatever we name this thing, uh, Balk. <laughs> so, you want black ants. Okay. So, I heard black ants. We need a colony name. Let's call it, uh, how about Raid? All right, here we go, guys. So we're going to start off in a formicarium, which is sort of like a, a habitat. And you'll be able to hear this horrible, ah, evil doctor talk. I see here the we queen go. has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy species. I love this game. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce right, so we're gonna the Fulca and observe their reaction. And then, Excellent. So the way this Keep works is the formicarium is sort of like your um, your home. And your everything will happen in here. So when you go through like different challenge stages and such, all of it will happen through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, and he said he Come put some now, food up lads. here. You need space to grow. Dig, Where's dig, the food? dig. He said there was food up here. That liar. All right, fine. So we're going to go ahead and dig a little down here, and then we'll do the first mission, and we'll get some serious food. Now, the idea hmm. is, yeah, is Little Legion, wrong? I like that. I should have made it Little Legion. I provided them with food just a few centimeters south of the Queen, but... Oh, south of the Queen. Ah. If we are too distressed to collect food, then we will have to replace the colony and start there again. There we go. Such a terrible waste. All right, so we got to go down here and get the food. They stuck it inside the colony here. There we go. 
and see how it's spawning new ants. So we're going to go down here and get all this food. And I'm going to create some, now over here on the right hand side, these are your tiles that let you create different ants, different storage uh, facilities, so on and so forth. So right now we're just going to create some storage so that the ants will have a place to put all the food. If you move the ants over to the left down here on the bottom, that gives the queen control of the ants. So when you tell it to dig or build, they'll do it. But you really kind of want to control them yourself when you're on missions and stuff. So, all right, here we go. So you see now we went from 70 up here to 140 food at the top. And just occurred to me, I'm probably blocking that little section down there. Let me see if I can move that. That should be all right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a mission, all right? We're gonna pick level one, one. And I'm always, uh, dude, I'm good at this game, so we're gonna do it on medium. Uh, I don't, challenge mode, we're gonna leave off for the moment. Not that you, you can't turn it on till level two anyway. All right, so the goal in this one this is to Formica kill Fusca everything queen that's queen has red. set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. All right. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures. All right, so the idea is we want to do the this slowly will and in need order. To be vigilant. The we ants go. have encountered a pocket of woodworm. And then we'll These start defenseless weevil ants. larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off I for processing. Move that over, but I don't really want to. Let me see if I can do that, guys. Hold on a minute. I'm going to hit this for a second, and I'm going to move that window over, guys, so you can see what you're missing over here. Because there is actually a window you're going to want to see. So let me move this. There we go. Shrinking me down and put me in the middle there. There we go. Now you'll be able to see it. All right, back to it. Okay. So this little panel right here is what lets you do everything with your ants. So we created the uh, little food storage by hitting a little food here. All right. This is your different kinds of ants you can build. That's workers. That's the warriors. Each one costs a different amount to uh, create and to hatch. All right. So we're going to create a couple of these. By the way, if you watch closely, guys, you'll see they put a little egg on there. And then the egg will grow. See it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it'll pop an ant out. It's really cool. We're going to move these ants, which are the warriors, over to our number one control so we can control them. I love this game, by the way. Oh, one more time. I got to hit this so that I can go over here and see you guys again because I can't see what you're typing. There we go. Okay, we're back. All right, so we got those. Let's go over here and get this food. The question marks are regular food. The red things are actually insects that we'll have to kill. There we go. Now, when I when I right click on a spot, it puts out that little pheromone trail. Whatever ants you have under control under any one of those little um, uh, Roman numerals here, that group will go to wherever you put the trail. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and build up a little bit more. I'll tell you something else we're gonna do is we're gonna build a food storage over here so we don't have to constantly fight that food storage. And trust me, you will have to fight it a lot in this game. Now they're bringing back food. We're going to go ahead and launch our ants. So we have four wa warriors so far, and we've got a whole bunch of the little little guys. Now, I'm not going to make any more of the workers. Really, all they're good for is replacing the little eggs on the uh, pedestal, so if your ants die, they pop out again. Right now, we're going to go over here, and we're going to dig over here and get these, and then we're going to start attacking insects. That's where it gets interesting. All right, so I set a pheromone marker down there. All my ants are going to go over and start grabbing stuff. Yeah, guys, I used to love Sam Ant back in the 80s. So if you were a fan of that game, this is a juiced up version of it. All right. All right, once these hatch, we're going to go ahead and attack these two. So you see how I have everybody pooled right here. So we're going to dig over here. Once they dig, it's going to release these two insects that are in here along with the food. And we're going to go kill them and eat them. There we go. 
The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, so you can see the, the fight. devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful there slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. You no, know we need to see, uh, one other thing I want to turn on so you can see it is show creature info. There. That'll show us the Chop life so you guys prey. can see what kind of life we're attacking. They are still small, however and must undergo right, a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. Uh, don't worry, if the ants are fast, the they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Oh, see that? What happened? I wasn't ready for that, and he killed one of my ants. Bad, bad bug! If the ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae, you know what you do, or on my raspberry, Sebastian. So I have Sim Ant on the raspberry they now. Must expand with caution. It is such a great game, dude. Such a great game. All right, I'm gonna run them down here. See how our army is growing? Now we have seven big ants. And actually we have eight, it just hadn't got to them yet. Now, in the little hammer tab, you've got an upgrade here. You can upgrade ant tiles. That makes the ants more powerful. You're definitely gonna wanna do that. I mean, you could have just a, a bulk of little ones and beat the mission. It's just a whole hell of a lot harder. All right. Let's go ahead and kill these, and then we'll continue moving up. Yeah, we're gonna whoop this one. Old DOS box. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, it's weird. I was playing uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 2 earlier. Still one of my favorite games. I don't know. Maybe I'll start a retro gaming segment. I don't know if there's enough people that would be interested in watching it. You hear that, like, groovy music? Yeah, it gets you into it. <laughs> so I make when I take them down here, I'm making them collect. Now you can set your ants to not collect food. Like if you're fighting a big group of them, you can set it to not collect food and just fight, or vice versa, just collect food and not fight. And on the next stage, you'll understand where that comes in handy. All right, so now we're gonna start getting into bigger stuff here. So, you see we have three ants right there, or three creatures, there's four creatures right here. So we're gonna to try to stair-step this so that our army grows with the amount of creatures we're fighting. Predators are loose in the nest. There we go. The larvae must be protected. And you can see them fighting it out, man. Get them, ants, get them! All right. Ordinarily, I would go straight up from here, but I think we got enough juice. We're just gonna take it on across and kill that guy. Juice up our ants real quick. And if you don't have enough food, it will not uh, respawn your ants. That is a problem too. There are intruders in the intruders nest. Intruders in the nest. Go get them, ants. There we go. See how the ants are popping from the bottom every time you hear that little boom, That means an ant died and another one's on his way up. And those are dead pill bugs, and you get lots of food off those things too. All right, we are juicing up. And I've done this, uh, freedom! Yeah, that's what it is. Here we go. We're going to kill this. So, did you guys catch the gun mod? What did you think? That's the first time I've done one of those in such high detail. You want to talk about pressure. That's one of those things that when you do it, anything These can go wrong. Can you imagine make if I pulled it off and shot that spring the across the room? Y'all would have laughed at me. But they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. There we go. Yeah, these things generate a lot of food. I'll get a ton of upgrades out of this one. I've been thinking about doing a few more of those mods too because people seem to like them and heaven knows I got enough of them to do right now. See all these are chunks of food they're bringing back down to the colony. Bop, bop, bop. Get that food in there. There we go. And of course, the more powerful your ants are, the more, you know, the quicker you kill stuff and uh, 
the quicker you move forward. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have these guys dig out a little more around this edge. And we're going to expand our ant circle. Our circle of antness. And then we're going to start killing these guys. You can see how many we're getting. And this is the bad area. But we got to do it. We got to do it. Got to kill us some ants. All right. And these wood lice are nice because you can, uh, they don't fight back. It's just basically a big giant food source. All right, I'm going to build in this real quick because we need to have more food stored when we attack the final boss up there. There we go. By the way, at the top here, this is your food storage, current, how many you can hold, amount of worker ants, and amount of everything else. So fighters or, or uh, flamethrowers, you'll see all that kind of stuff. Sure. All right, let them clear those out, and then we'll move on to the bedrooms. Why can't you have guns, Data? These are not firearms, dude. These are air guns. Anybody can own them, anybody can carry them. Believe it or not, that was one of my primary reasons for starting to mod these for people. Number one is a lot of people are afraid of firearms, so they don't they, they want to defend themselves. The workers have done all they can, but they don't to really want to carry stores. a gun and, and actually kill somebody. Because if you're a human being and you ever do that, dude, I always tell people, if you've got a lethal weapon and you use it in self-defense, hey, listen, I, I get it, I do. Um, but if you ever have to use it in self-defense and you kill somebody, lay the weapon down and put your hands up, you're going to jail because you got to go through the whole process. But if you're using a non-lethal weapon, it will stop a person. Um, and depending on how nasty you want to get, it'll really jack them up. So, all right, here we go. We're going to go up here and kill these. Now we're getting back into where we got some serious combat on all sides here. So, but you can tell by the red marks how many ants are in different sections. Uh, data, you can have it up there, I think. You need to check it. Are paintballs legal in Canada? Our paintball guns, can you have a paintball gun? There are intruders gun? in the nest. Like I know in some states down here, they can have the gun, but they can't have the pepper balls. Makes zero sense to me, but whatever. I stopped trying to make sense of that mindset a long time ago, man. Predators are loose right. in the nest. Let's get them. The larvae must be protected. Let's get them. There we go. Oh, they're going to kill me. Look at that. See, they got all my guys. So what I'm going to do is reform and then go again. Here we go. I probably should have gone to the lower side before I took that little den. But being cocky makes you do crazy things, you know? There we go. And we won. Look at him carrying back the dead bugs. I love that. All right. Growing to some more ants. Sebastian, where did you find those? I asked that because I ordered... I ordered 50 caliber steel balls and they're the wrong size. They're actually a little too large. But I've had a lot of people that were asking about it, because after that mod, dude, these things are brutal after the mod. I know, I don't have to tell you. All right, you'll notice, by the way, we're up to 20 ants in our main army now. It goes pretty quick. Now, when you do this on the harder levels, you've got to take your time. we got a couple of third level ants, too. That's a big deal.
200 for 18 bucks. Yeah, I do. If it'll let you post a link, cool. And if it won't, email it to me, man. There are intruders in the and nest. I love the HDP 50, the TR 50. Those have become my favorite weapons for modification. They're so easy to mod and they're so powerful after you do it. But I would venture to say that if you're firing at six to 700 feet per second, with a steel ball, you're really broaching that area of non lethal So you want to be real careful with that. All right. Man, we are in a, this is a big group we gotta fight. I do not know how this is gonna go. We're gonna find out. All right, let's bring some ants in here. It's, be re it's almost a one for one. What is that? Three, six, nine, ten. Is that ten? So two for Predators one. are here loose in the nest. The larvae must go, be ants, protected. Go, ants, go! Oh, yeah. Tear them up. You know, I wish there was a way that you could tell all of your ants to target one mob. They tend to spread out on the line. But... Ooh, that was a good fight. We're going to need more ants for the bigger fight, though. That worked out well. All right. You know what? I am going to just because. All right, there. I like the music. I think it adds a lot to the game, but you can't hear the scuttering and skittering of their little feet. And that actually is pretty cool, too. M4 mod kit for the HDR. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that. And I'm actually looking for it. Um, there's a few different mods I want to do. Somebody sent me the link for the 3D printed uh, reloader for the HTP 50. And I'm going to make that public to you guys. Because they're really keeping that crap hidden. And it's driving me crazy. And I think everybody ought to be able to do that. Get up there, ants. It's pretty cool how it works, too. All right. We're almost there, man. I'm trying to save these till just before we fight so we can fill up our food stores. All right. How are we doing over here? Let's get a few more ants out. I'd like to have all these tier three before we get into that last battle, but 50-50 mm, chance here. Uh, Data, I get that, brother. I get it. I get it. And hey, listen, man, you, you've seen what's around me, right? My hobbies are expensive. I get it. It is tough to diversify when you got that much stuff going on. All right, we got 30 ants. Yeah, me too, Sebastian, me too. And I can't find anybody that actually will sell them separately from the kit. But I will, give me time. Either that or I'm gonna take them down and see if I can have them machined, because that's another option too. I'll tell you what I did one time I took a CO2 cartridge, it was spent, chopped off the end of it, and used it as an insert in the uh, uh, CO2 chamber. Worked perfectly. Bled the CO2 in slower so that the TR-50 didn't Predators are loose in the up. nest. The larvae must and be protected. And that was pretty cool. But the HDP, or excuse me, the uh, uh, HDR and the TR-50, you can't just do a straight valve block deletion. It won't, I mean, if you do, the gun will work occasionally and sometimes it'll do weird stuff like a complete CO2 dump on one pole. Then that's really frustrating. Um, or it'll lock the cylinder up. There's literally so much pressure it won't let you spin the cylinder. So yeah, I'm looking into that too. You talking about that home defense 24 or another one? 
those guys are pretty decent. I, I've had pretty good luck with them, but it's kind of expensive. Yeah, stand up for a minute, guys. Sorry about that. Oof. This chair, I've got this like little bar stool down here, and it's <laughs> not exactly the most comfortable thing in the world. Get up here, ants. We got work to do. All right, this is our last food store before we start attacking the actual uh, the queen itself. Now, guys, I am going to turn this into um, a series, I think. What we're going to do is we'll do a level because there's um, two levels and then a formicarium challenge, and there's three of those. So I think I'll turn this into a series, and maybe each time we play this game, we'll do another level since we all have a colony that's dedicated to the YouTube thing here. Data, I cannot wait to see it, man. I cannot wait to see it. You had me excited about that when you mentioned it the first time. All right, we're going to ramp up a few more ants here while we can. And I want to try to get the 12. So the way this works, they're upgraded based on what's around them. So if all of them around them are upgraded at least once, you can upgrade the... Uh, the other one to a tier three and what i'm trying to do is get as many tier threes as i can so if i upgrade this this will go to 11 that'll go to 12 then i take this to 12 that'll go to 12. see how that works so this will give me two more 12s and we should have full food at that point come on give me a 12 there we go all right let's see where we're at on food because we are ready to rock now, I'm going to do a, an ambush, and I'll show you why I do this in a second. Attacking these head-on occasionally, you'll get trapped in a corner, and you can't get out. This is going to come in two waves. This first area is going to dump, and then this area is going to dump, and that's got two giant bugs there and one giant bug here. So, now that they're up here in hiding, I'm going to go ahead and dig out this area. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. All right, I'm gonna let those sacrifice. Let them come by and the ants have stumbled it. into the path Charge. of a fully developed devil's coach horse now I'm beetle, charging. and it's hungry for breakfast. We the beetle is almost this. four times Let's the see. size of a black ant and protected by thick plates oh, yeah, of external this. armor. When they Whilst surround, it bites it's at the tiny over, defenders, dude. it sprays foul-smelling right, secretions from the end of its of raised too, abdomen, so disorientating food. the ants. Ants, the ants, devil's ants, coach ants, horse ants, is ants, dead. Ants its corpse ants, will provide ants. food to support dozens of new brood. All right, let's go ahead and get some upgrades going. And then we are ready for the final bite. Bite? The final bite. See what I did there? All right. Yeah, I would love to turn this into a series, so that's probably what we're going to do, guys. All right, we're going to get back in our hidey hole here. Get all of our ants up here. And that did not generate as much food as I thought it was going to, but that's okay. We should have enough anyway. All right, here we go. Sacrificial lambs are going up. And when they get up there, they're going to pop that. They're going to die, and then everything's going to charge down. And our idea is we want to hit it from the side so we can get coverage on as many of them as we possibly can. Bum, ba, dum. Predators are loose in the nest. Wait for the larvae it. must be protected. Wait for it. Charge. You see how they turned? I don't think it'll matter because what's going to happen is if they kill them here, they'll come up from the bottom. Here we go. All right, see our food's going down, but we're doing good. If we could just get to the two mains, we will be fine. There we go. Yeah, scatter my ants. See what that gets you. I love this game, guys. It's so much fun. All right. Whipped its butt. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time Dude, being, however, so cool. the queen, 
is safe. Uh, Scott, he said he's going to send me a link. If he does, then I will post that on the next video because I want to know that too. All right, when you're done with the game, guys, you can pick what extra rewards you want. I always go with food, and you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to end level. Now, that'll take you back to your formicarium, which is your, like, little terrarium thing that you're in. Is right, it so feeding now, time already? If you already? look up here, see yes. all this food? Yes, our queen That's is what got dropped up on the surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these over to our control, and we're going to send out the ants. Now, once they collect some of this food, we're going to start building up our attack force. There we go. So now they're building up, bringing in the food. And I'm going to upgrade this because we're going to need this upgraded to full. Yeah, food stores are full. That's why we have to upgrade it. I uh, know we're not seeing the link, bud. I don't know if it's because we're in a live stream. Maybe it blocks links. I didn't have anything in there that said block the link, but maybe that's just what it's doing. Heaven forbid that YouTube does something that's annoying. I'm glad you did too, Scott. I'm glad you did too, man. I uh, I love my channel. I, honestly, I do it because I love it. This is what I love to do. I've been a computer guy for, oh God, 30 years now. So occasionally you'll see me doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You'll see me doing, uh, obviously the gun stuff has become more prevalent because people are digging these things. But you'll see me in the other studio doing computer builds and upgrades and occasionally retro stuff, which people kind of get a kick out of, too. All right, get over there. Now, once they bring in this food, we'll be able to actually build a little bit of an army to gather this food properly. So. And we're going to build a little worker nest down here. What this will do is it'll allow us to um, have a few more workers to break out the... Nope, still didn't see it, Sebastian. It's like it's blocking links. Uh, just email it over to me, man. And then on the next video, I will post it in the bottom. Because I'm going to... You know where we did that mod a minute ago? I'm actually going to make a, uh, a video out of that. I'm going to try to make a short. And then at the in the short's description, I will put that link to the metal to the steel balls i actually 3d printed something really cool so we can test penetration on those too it's um you know if you look back on some of the videos scott i use this thing called scully which is a 3d printed skull um but we wanted to see what kind of depth we're getting and i can't really go out and afford a um uh, dummy yet because they're really expensive i'm sure you know what i mean all right, we're going to let that food sit there. Why am I still not seeing the food amounts? Let's see here. Resource info. There we go. That shows you how much food there is on the ground, which is a lot. All right, let these guys come down here. We're going to build a few more of these. Oh, yeah. I actually have a uh, retro game system that I build uh, here at the flea market. That is close to 29,000 games now. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. There we go. Yeah, I'm an old school retro gamer myself. That's what I was saying. I was playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2 earlier. Um, I played Warcraft 1 for a while. I actually Easter egged the original Diablo in there, which was great. But some of my favorite games go all the way back to the Commodore days. Uh, my first computer was actually a VIC-20 in 1979. I no data because I've seen those porn sites throwing in the bitly things. So, I mean, I didn't, I, I don't know. I guess it's possible they do. All right. Let's get them out here to get the food. 
and upgrade these tiles and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, every time you finish out one of the uh, the stages, you, you kind of want to build up your Fort Macarium to get to those challenges. That's the ultimate goal. So the stages are what you use to build up your resources in what they call jelly. And if you look up here in the top left corner, you've got this little uh, DNA strand. This lets you upgrade your ants however you want to. And normally what I'll do is we'll upgrade these to level two. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and upgrade these to level three. Um, the higher level they are, the more food they can carry, the faster they travel, and the quicker they dig. So that's a good thing. And we don't have enough jelly for these two yet. So, Or do we? How much is that one? That's uh, 40. No, we don't have enough for that yet. But we're getting there. All right. Okay, I'm going to drop a link in, or uh, an email address. Hold on one second. All right, it is... There you go, man. As you guys can see, I'm just upgrading these, getting them ready for the next level. Because you really, when you get to those formicarium challenges, you most assuredly want a lot of storage capacity for food because you, they'll, you'll, your stuff will die quickly. So, And we'll be able to, on the next level, we'll be able to actually make some bigger ants once we beat the level two. So, all right, that's upgraded. That's about as far as we're going to get. So let's get the last of the food in here. And then that is where we will call it for this little round. I love watching these ants do this. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Scott, as soon as I get over to a computer, I'll uh, to a computer. Hey, actually, hold on a minute. Let me see here. I don't know if I've got, nope, can't get to it from here. On the, uh, when I get through the house, though, I'll forward it to you. Because I want some of them, too. All I know is that all I know is that these did not work. Those are 50 caliber. So I don't know what they're just a little too big. They will actually load, but when you pull the trigger, you can feel it's not allowing it to drop into the cylinder because it's a tiny bit too big. So yeah. Those are going back. Amazon, baby. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we are definitely ready. All right. So, uh, we're going to play this more often, guys. In fact, what I'll probably do, uh, I may even do a stream tomorrow night, just because I really do love this game. This is kind of like, unlike the horror games that we play occasionally and all that, this kind of game is just chillax and, and fun to play until you screw up and they wipe out your camp. And trust me, on a couple of these stages, you'll see them, you'll see me screw up and then wipe out the camp. But... Doesn't that, okay, you can't tell me that doesn't look like a screensaver. <laughs> For real. But, yep, that's where we'll call it. All right, guys, listen, thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching the stream. Thank you so much for watching the, the, uh, the gun mod, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, Scott, that's going out tomorrow to you, brother. So I already printed your address, and it will be en route. So bigger hammer, make them fit. I agree. All right, guys, have a fantastic night. We will talk to you guys, hopefully, uh, I'm thinking probably tomorrow. Yeah, I think tomorrow, I, I think I'll have some time to do it tomorrow. So we'll probably jump on there tomorrow and we'll play, have some fun with it. So, cool. Man, I tell you, I'm just looking at the, yeah, I got the email. So I will forward that out. There we go. That's fine. I will send that out. All right, man. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And we will talk to you manana. Later.